Today, there's no, there's no doubt that the pandemic has presented its challenges for students with the constant switching from virtual to in person. And now with cases on the rise across Shelby County, students are wondering how long would they get to remain in a classroom this year? Amid the bustle of back to school, there's a feeling of uncertainty on the University of Memphis campus. I'm a little nervous, a little anxious. The cause of those jitters, COVID-19, and how it could affect this semester as classes are set to operate at 100% capacity. It feels like we might get shut down because of, you know, all the rates going back up and everything with other schools. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not I'm not confident, but I hope it will last. As of Sunday, Shelby County has more than 8,200 active cases, numbers that have not been seen since January. This comes a few days after a mass mandate was put in place for Shelby County. COVID-19 Delta variant is real. It is getting younger people sick. It is getting kids sick. Dr. Michelle Taylor, Shelby County Health Director, believes that this recent surge could have been avoided. And when you see that, you realize that a lot of this surge could have been prevented if we had been able to get more people, convince more people to get vaccinated. In an effort to increase vaccination rates, U of M is offering vaccines on campus. Some students would like to see it become a requirement, given the uncertainty that lies ahead. I think you should get vaccinated. It's not, not gonna hurt you. I mean, it'll just help you and help everybody around you. I will get vaccinated, but it just it's more of a pressure on me to get vaccinated because I will be attending here. University has implemented various safety measures like requiring masks and social distancing upon students arrival. For now reporting here live downtown Memphis, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.